Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Israel Waike Lubogo, and today I bring to you Resonance of Determination, the Symphony of Israel Waike Lubogo. In the face of life's harshest trials, I stand unyielding, a warrior in this battle of existence. For every setback, I summon the indomitable spirit within me. Echoing the defiance of the storm against the shore. When confronted with fears of the storm coming my way, let it be known henceforth that I am the storm. When the sun hides behind the clouds and the rain pours relentlessly, I persist, knowing that even the fiercest tempests cannot break my resolve. In the words of Victor Hugo, even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. For yesterday's failures are about stepping stones to today's triumphs. And I shall not bow to adversity. I am the embodiment of determination. An unwavering rebel against life's struggles. And I will rise unbroken, unshaken, and undefeated. In the symphony of life, sometimes the melodies are harmonious and sometimes they are filled with dizziness. Yet, remember the words of Winston Churchill, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. Each drawn dawn brings new opportunities and with unwavering determination, we shall rise to face them. As Maya Angela once said, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. When the storm clouds gather and life tests your resolve, channel the spirit of Nelson Mandela. The greatest glory in living lies not ever in falling, but in ever in rising every time we fall. So, let us be rebellious over life's stars. For like a phoenix, we rise from the ashes of yesterday's challenges to greet the promise of a new day. Keep your head high, my friend, for you are a survivor and your story is still being written. Administer the labyrinth of failures, disappointments and betrayals. I emerge resilient as ever, declaring with unwavering resolve, I will survive. Each setback, like a brush stroke to the canvas of life, only adds depth to my story. As Robert Frost once amused, the best way out is always through. In the face of frustration, I echo the words of Winston Churchill. Success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Betrayers may wound, but they cannot break my spirit. For Maya Angler reminds me, still I rise. I am the embodiment of perseverance, an unyielding force, broken by life's trials. For every battle endured only strengthens my resolve to declare once more, I will survive and I will thrive. By the decree of unwavering will and a thunderous declaration of my spirit, I cast my lot with life, embracing it in its fullest, most vivid form. I choose love, not merely in fragments, but in its profound entirety, a love that knows no boundaries. I stand unyielding, ready to confront my adversaries, whether they dwell in mortal flesh or in ethereal realms, and with unshakable faith that declares, I can do all things. In the annals of human determination, let this proclamation resonate as a masterpiece of resolute spirit, a testament to the indomitable human's will. May it be echoed in the annals of the genius book of records as a symphony of strength, an opus of unwavering commitment to the relentless pursuit of life's boundless possibilities. In the heart of a turbulent journey, Administer the trials of tribulations of life. There lived a soul determined to embrace life in all its glory and to love 
in its purest form. With a voice as resonant as thunder, and a spirit as unyielding as a mountain, this soul declared, I choose life and its boundless possibilities, and I choose love, a love that knows no boundaries. Faced with adversities, both mortal and spiritual, this indomitable spirit stood undeterred, echoing the words of Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Like the brave Joshua, this book found, this store found strength in the words, Be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. With unwavering faith, they clung to the promise of Romans 8 31. If God is for us, who can ever be against us? And with the assurance of Isaiah 41 10, I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Through the darkest valleys of life, guided by Psalms 23 4, they walked fearless, knowing that even in the shadows, the Lord's presence would provide comfort. In the face of adversity, they chanted Psalms 27 1 as a mantra The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Their story became an epic unwavering determination, aching their name in the genius book of records as a testament to the unshakable human spirit and an inspiration to all who dare desire. To all who dare declare, I choose life, I choose to love, and I can do all things. My fellow human beings, I come before you today, not on the steps of a grand monument, but on the brief spice of a possibility that is boundless to declare the dreams that reside within the heart of Israel, Waike, Lubogo. I have a dream, a profound aspiration that resonates with the very essence of life itself. I dream of choosing love, life in their most profound expressive form transcending the boundaries that seek to confine our human experience. I have a dream that, like the words of Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through the fortitude bestowed upon me by the divine providers. This dream propels me to heights uncharted, to confront challenges with unwavering determination. I dream, as did a violent Joshua, of being strong and courageous, for the cosmos is in alignment with the resolute soul, guiding us towards destinies unknown. I have a dream that, as I confront adversities, mortal and ethereal like, the universe itself shall conspire in my favor, for if the cosmos allies in favor, who in the grand tapestry of existence can oppose. In the shadows of life's darkest valleys, I seek the comfort of divine guidance. For within those obscurities lies the profound lessons that shapes our journey. I dream with the wisdom of the ages that the illumination of the innermost self the very essence of being is the refuge against all existential apprehensions. As I come here declaring my dreams, let it be known that the sky is no longer the limit. Israel, Waike, Lubogo, shall rise higher, excel further, and achieve beyond measure. For these dreams, my fellow beings, are not mere aspirations, but they are the prostrating hearts of determination. They are the echoes of an unwavering spirit that chooses to soar to new heights. And this journey has only just begun. Within the symphony of life, where resilience and tenacity, courage, 
faith, hard work, and patience blend harmoniously. There emerges a crescendo of unyielding determination, and at its apex stands the name Israel Waike Luhogo. With resilience as my shield and tenacity as my sword, I cover path through the labyrinth of, of changes. For I am Israel Waike Luhogo, the embodiment of unwavering resolve. In the face of adversity, courage courses through my veins, echoing the timeless truth that a brave heart conquers all. My unwavering faith, like a beacon in the night, guides me through life's tempests. Through tireless hard work, I build the foundations of my dreams, brick by brick. For I know that a river cuts through a rock, not because of its power, but because of its persistence. With patience as my companion, I await the seeds of my endeavors to bloom, knowing that everything is meant to be and will come at the perfect time. And as this symphony crescendos, let it be known that Israel, Waike, Lubogo, is not just a name. It is a testament to the human spirit's boundless potential. My journey is a testament to what can be achieved with unwavering determination. May this crescendo of determination be a source of inspiration, motivating all who hear it to embrace resilience, tenacity, courage, faith, hard work, and patience and to rise above life's challenges with unwavering resolve. Ladies and gentlemen, I remain Israel Waikelugogo. Thank you for listening to what I have to say today. I shall take my leave.